Hello, welcome to WinTR SCADA web server tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about web server feature of WinTR SCADA. Web server feature allows us monitoring WinTR screens on remote computers in the web browsers such as Internet Explorer and Firefox. This feature now only allows monitoring the screens. Interactions such as setting a value is not available on the web pages yet. For controlling WinTR screens remotely, please refer to server client tutorial. The first thing I'd like to talk about the WinTR web server is maximum screen number to serve over the map. Normally, 16 screen can be opened in runtime simultaneously. Each screen, which specified as a web screen, decreases this number by one. No matter if client connected that screen at that time. In other words, total number of web screens and open screens at the host cannot exceed the 16. To keep runtime working, least one screen must stay open, so maximum web screen count becomes 15. I will demonstrate web screen feature based on the project which has two screens. One of these screens is for displaying real-time values, the other is for the alarms. Now let's go to development mode and make these screens accessible from the web. I'm switching to development mode and going to control panel and selecting web server tab and activating enable web server checkbox in this tab. The options becomes visible. I'm selecting the screens and transferring them to web server screen list. These screens will be accessed via WinTR web server's IP address and port number. If your host computer reached the internet over ADSL modem, you need to make IP routing for your making your host computer accessible from the internet. There is a lot of document exists on the internet about this routing. WinTR web server's default port number is 8001. We can change this number if we want, but I leave this without a change. When client connecting to server, this port number must be added end of the IP address with a colon. Here we can see an address format with an example which should be written to Internet Explorer's address bar. When client navigate to WinTR web server, SCADA screens displayed as a continuously refreshing images. Refreshing period is specified in the refresh time field. Default value is 2000 milliseconds which equals to 2 seconds. I am changing this to 500 milliseconds. In this way the page will refresh more often. To apply any changes I am click on restart. Now I can switch to runtime mode. Then I am opening the Internet Explorer. I am navigating the IP address of my computer with the 8001 port number. Yes, this is the main page of the WinTR web server. Screen links located in this page is a list view. When I click on the screen 1 link, I see the refreshing image of the screen 1 with the actual clock at the title. To navigate the screen 2, I am going back and clicking screen 2 link. The alarm view of screen 2 contains only active alarms. This is the difference from the actual screen's alarm view. When alarm disposed, it is completely removed from the alarm view instead of overstruck it. We can use a different main page which designed by ourselves instead of this main page. When WinTR switched to the runtime, HTML web pages are automatically created in the project folder. When client requested this HTML page, WinTR sends this page to the client. If we want to use our design main page, we must replace that HTML file with the main page that created by the WinTR at each runtime startup. Now let's see how can we do that. I will design my web page by a software named Web Page Maker. I am opening Web Page Maker software by clicking its shortcut on my desktop. The HTML page that I will create will contain a title and a links to the screens. Let's title be Welcome to SCADA Screens.
and adding pictures for the screen links. The pictures are created from the word art objects. I created the link pictures. Of course, I need a URL for these links. To get that, I'm opening Internet Explorer and navigating the screens and copying the URL. And pasting my links. The link for the screen 2 is just a little different from the screen 1's. I'm making screen 1 to screen 2 in the URL. Ok, and that's it. Now I preview the page in the Internet Explorer. This is the rendered web page. The links are working as I expected. To save this page, I am opening file menu on the Internet Explorer and clicking save as. I am saving the file with a name as index2html. Also I can see here previously mentioned screen's web page. After saving, I can close Internet Explorer and web design software. Now. I will configure the WinTR for the replacing index2html with the index.html file which will be created by WinTR. I can do this very simple way with the script. I am opening previously written script in the script writer. This script deletes index.html file which created by WinTR. At next line, it copies my index2html file as a index.html in the project folder. WinTR creates web page each runtime startup. So I must set this script as executed in each runtime startup. I am going control panels general setup tab and setting this script as runtime startup script. Now I can switch the runtime again. At runtime startup script runs at the background and replace my web page as a main page. I am navigating to WinTR web server again with Internet Explorer. This time I get my own design main page. In this tutorial I try to demonstrate using of WinTR web server and how to use our self-designed web page as a main WinTR web page. Thanks for the watching.